I took some time to analyze what we have in here and in previous video I said it looks really nice but some of I have found some things that are not are not looking nice so one thing I mentioned already is this power resistor and this is something that's uh, on the secondary um, of the power transformer and that limits the voltage uh, that goes to the circuit but there were a few things that were changed by someone so someone's been here already uh, this cap it says 22 microfarads 600 volts original one was uh, I think was 10 microfarads and 400 volts so that's not original this cap was added this resistor was added here to a different value cap so this was 2.2 nanofarad now it's 22 nanofarad cap with some resistor uh, this cap was changed this is a cathode cap for the power tubes few more things were done here this resistor is not original they are all like good quality and good ratings but well someone's been here already this resistor was changed this resistor was changed I'm not sure I want to deal with all the changes and it's it's really not worth modding the amp because you would need to take this to original to the stock version first to see how it sounds and then go from there to see if you need anything different the design of this amp is really well thought you have a thermistor which is a safety feature on modern amps it limits the current that goes into the amp so it doesn't have like surge of voltage for the power tubes it just rises slowly so when you power up the amp it will it very slowly you know come up to the working voltage so compared to the vintage amp when you power this up it will take uh, a longer time significantly longer time to power up you have a ferrite bead which is another modern feature as you can see there is not much place here so this is not like a AC15 or AC30 or whatever it's not even a 2204 Marshall which is not big uh, which has a smaller chassis but still this one is much much smaller so I'm starting to wonder where to put things because we want some power section we want some face inverter section we want some preamp section in this amp uh, it will take space so I need to think smart to get all the uh, parts of the circuit into the chassis and to make this fit uh, and to make it work so I, I have not yet decided what design it will be I mean what implementation it will be so I have the strip boards I have tag boards and they take quite a quite a space so a strip board would be like I don't know maybe a few strips here a few strips here uh, maybe somewhere here this space will not be used you have a output transformer here so you still can use this space I will get a significant depth of the chassis when I take the, out the PCB because the tubes are mounted directly to the PCB so once I uh, put the tube sockets in it will all go down so I will have more depth but still the square space is the same so maybe and just maybe maybe we'll need to go to point to point something like matchless does 
so very little strips and very little tags and whatever can be put point to point uh, just using the leads from the caps and resistors uh, maybe that will be the best solution here we have the AC uh, filament uh, for the power tubes and for the preamp tubes we have DC filament heater supply really simple one and it also uh, is supplying the LED uh, here we have the LED which is powered off this uh, 6.5 actually uh, DC supply so I was thinking maybe I could still keep this and somehow manage to put this somewhere and have at least a V1 uh, filaments powered with the DC voltage if not we can still use AC and try to implement the LED with the, another diode uh, in counter parallel to power up from the AC circuit. What I don't want to do is I don't want to change so much in the chassis so whatever holes I'm having I would like to use them but if it turns out that the space is too tight I might have to drill the holes a little farther away from where they are now just so we can have the more components in here I have not yet decided what the master volume would be uh, but this amp has very nice double potentiometer with us 200k which is a perfect value to use for the so-called post-phase inverter uh, master volume that shuts the output of the power tube to the ground and since we don't have negative feedback in this uh, design it would not cause any tone deterioration so in typical negative feedback designs if you use this kind of master volume where you have double uh, potentiometer on the output of the phase inverter you will be limiting Mm, the negative feedback or because you're not driving the power stage so you're not getting the negative feedback from the output transformer just as you normally would so you have less negative feedback and when you roll the master volume down the sound gets more raw because you're not having the negative feedback anymore on the low levels so I will see that's usable cross line is also usable and is simpler with this one I will not have an option to switch it off and on but in fully maxed position it works basically like a typical uh, resistor which I want to have there and I want to have 200k uh, okay so next step will be taking the board out uh, and seeing how much space we have here and what can be done, what I can implement, what parts should I use to actually successfully put everything I want in this amp. There is not much I want, I just want, you know, as I said, one preamp stage, long tail, PI, and a simple um, power amp. But still, each of these parts will take some space and this space is limited and also I cannot be you know I will not put anything where the power transformer is I will have a limited space over the output transformer so I will have to be smart and one more thing when working on this amp you have this R1 here which is the first dropping resistor um, after these two of course so these are uh, AC 
resistors they are dropping some AC voltage but this one is dropping DC voltage and this amp doesn't have the what do you call it uh, leak resistor on the power uh, section where if you switch it off it will mm, leak any residual voltage from the caps so in this amp you can leave the amp for a month and once you get back it will still have the voltage so the easiest way to get rid of it is to take a screwdriver touch side of this R1 and touch the chassis and you should get a spark over here I'm not sure you're seeing this so you should get a spark when you uh, touch the chassis with the screwdriver and you should have no voltage here or like less than a volt uh, over this resistor you could also check uh, other resistors for these caps and also short them to chassis to make sure uh, make sure that you have no residual voltage in the caps okay so I have the board out which was pretty pretty easy I marked all those tags uh, for the connections I have on the PCB in case I change my mind or in case I'm wondering what the wire is going to I can easily see the tags so the tag 5 tag 14 so I will just I will just need to be looking for those tags so tag 14 here yes tag 14 that's just to make it simpler for me so you see we have a lot of depth right here but this is the space we have to use and there are some sketchy things on this board I'm not sure if this is something that came from Vox or if this is something coming from the previous person that was doing something with the mods but you can clearly see that some parts were changed and this is not original anymore I will be using some parts probably like maybe the bridge rectifier and the caps for having the DC supply for the filaments they are good values good quality don't see a reason not to reuse some of this the caps are good I will be reusing some of the caps maybe the pots as well for the master volume what is the gain volume pot I don't see that I should be using like 50k audio but I'm not sure what value this is I will check with multimeter so this was easy really good design of how the board is set within the amp how it's connected 